Hello there, Major Hilly. It's some Hoi 4 in Spain. 1938, we have our first operative right now. They're not available until they've built an intelligence network. So, defending against subversive attacks in our homeland. I mean, that seems to make sense. All right. So we're building counterintelligence. And we've got all of these little... Oh, that's cool. So intelligence. Civilian intelligence. I don't really have the civ, the civ factories to do this, but that's really cool. Localized training centers. Commando training. Increases commando traits. Very cool. Form a cryptology department. Ooh. Again, I want to wait until I have more factories available. I really want to be using them all for this. Disperse support, and then we're going to get through this. My god, it takes a fucking whole year. Well, to be honest, I don't need the army. Oh, yes, I do. I need the army experience desperately. Otherwise, I won't be able to do anything. Whoops. Because the army experience is what I use to increase compliance. So why can't you... The counterintelligence. Build intel network. Quiet intel network. Boost ideology propaganda. Rune out resistance. Control trade. And... Ooh. Yeah. But now he is rooting out resistance. Resistance target 10%. This would increase diplomatic pressure. This would give daily trade opinion. Propaganda is stability drift away. That's pretty cool. Boost ideology. Quietly. Prevents the loss of Intel network strength while network is inactive. And build the network. Okay. Cool. Right, so this is really this is cool. I'm just not really gonna be able to play with it very much for a while. And so this immediately does seem to be reducing. Yeah, yeah. 0.075. Low resistance. Looks good, looks good. Because their resistance target is so weak. Compliance is... Unfortunately, compliance is starting to... The speed of which it is gained is actually starting to slow down. Because we have... Yeah, look at that. Actually slowing down pretty dramatically. Because we have high compliance. It's 049 right now. So it's still going to take a while. Though we are at 28.6, so we only have 6.3% 6 left. So 6.3 divided by 0 0.049. 6.3 divided by 0 0.49. Is that right? Is 12. Oh, no, there's another zero. 128 days. So it's 128 days remaining for this. That is not bad. The so three months and then I can start to get my states back. I mean, I have all the factories. I'm still limited massively by my factories. This is the issue. Like, there's, there's, there's just nowhere near them. Beta Czechoslovakia. Slovakia has been given independent. And the Quit India movement. And Poland seeks Baltic cooperation. Oh, Poland. That, that's not a good path for you, let me tell you. Not going to go well. I pity you, buddy. Next up, we're going to get uh, construction speed 10%. Because we don't need resources. I need factories, please. For the love of God, give me factories. Please. But we should start to gain our states back soon-ish. Because the empire will be restored. I want to know what happens at the Iberian Union. I think that'd be really cool to see. I'm going to wait until I've definitely trained these divisions, though. Uh, and it'll be trained on the 19th. Of okay, so that's like this really soon. So 70 days, so I can do that now. Almost four centuries have passed in Spain and Portugal, last year of fate. Um, lasting all, but, but all too briefly. Iberia is stronger together, and we will ensure a new clay on the Portuguese throne is discovered. Oh yes, it will be discovered indeed. So let's, let's do that. The Iberian Union. 
Really hope I'm not doing this too soon. Really do. So immediately, let's start to move divisions out. So let's take a look at our divisions. So these guys are fine. The actual infantry and the mountain divisions are okay, I guess. Uh, and the African divisions. Okay. And who's the very best general? It is Jose Enrique. That, with that planning speed bonus. Good boy. And then this bad boy here should have infantry leader experience and ooh, max infantry. No, we'll have Gonzala. We'll put him with a different field marshal because he's a totally different thing. And he wants to be upgraded, but he has nothing that can be upgraded, so... Never mind. Very good. And next up, we will do a garrison order to guard all the naval bases. Please. <laughs> Your job will be to not die. I really hope I'm not doing this too soon, but I feel like I am. And there is literally just enough men here to do that. Um, I'm going to change these guys to... So wait, what is that crappy division? The Rikinitia Kelista? That's fine. Oh god, Morocco, 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 Morocco. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank god, I do not want to lose Morocco. We want to change these to them as well. Because this has 30 steel. That does mean we need 13 of them. There's not really a lot here that I care about. Ah. Uh, I mean, we have these these infantry here. Problem is, they need 13, so I guess we're going to have to do this. No. Let's upgrade. Do, 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 do. I mean, these guys are a bit crap. Planning speed and chance to get wounded. Promotion cost. Yeah, go on. Jose Milan Astre. Oh. Hooray. And you're going to be defensive, Doctrine. Yeah. And division recovery rate. Ozzy Milan Astre. Astre. Ozzy Milan. Oh, there we go. Milan Astre. Take a look at him. We have six more divisions joining. How soon can I get... Okay, I think we do need to... I think we need to go at least to... Well, uh, uh, no, it costs the same amounts. Let's go at least to limited. Alright, there we go. Naval bases are secure. Oh boy. Support equipment... Is only 15 days behind, so that's okay. Come on, boys. You can do it. I know you can. What's that? Why is it frozen? It made a noise. It's not me, is it? Please? Ah, it's the Mexican Civil War. The Mexican Junta has declared war on Mexico. Oh, boy. Ooh, look at that chunky boy in charge. Such a new All right. They're doing the Manhattan Project. So, Jose Milan Astre was a Spanish soldier and founder of the first commander of the Spanish Foreign Legion, a major figure, early figure of Francois dictatorship. Notable for his disfigured body, he lost, during his time in the army, he lost both his left arm and right eye and was shot several times in the chest and legs. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. And he married someone, a wife who made attention to remain chaste. Okay. 
Sure, sure, sure. How's this coming along? 19th of March on its way. He was wounded in the left arm, resulting in needing to be amputated. And he continued to spend a month later, he lost his right eye when he was shot in the eye. He wore a white glove in his right hand, and he wore an eye patch. He owned the sobriquet Grueso Mutilado, Glorious Amputee. Interested in forming a corps of foreign volunteers under the fashion of the French Foreign Legion, he traveled to Algeria to start its workings. He published the models of Viva la Morte, Long Live Death, and A, la, a, a Mila Legion, To Me the Legion. He gave the Legion a powerful ideology to evoke Spain's imperial and Christian things. He sided with the Nationalists, served as the officer of radio and propaganda. Cool, man. Oh, crap. I've given up this. Whatever. I don't, I'll never be able to hold on to that freaking island, so. I know it hasn't. Oh, but it has naval bases. Uh, synthetic oil experiments. Cool. Now get me max factory output, please. Let's hope this isn't the death of us. All right, we're gonna try and train three more divisions. Actually, no, we we, we literally can't. We literally can't. Come on, baby, you can do it. Give me those divisions before the. Uh, oh God, I haven't drawn a front line. Oh my God. You know what? Let's just abandon the river. We don't want this river. I just want this. Give me that. How many do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Okay, so I can actually have a little bit more than that. So I can have it to there. Perfect. I mean, we can actually push through. And we do have the... Uh, we're still working on overwhelming firepower. So the line artillery is not as effective as it could be, but it's on its way. It is on its way, guys. 32%. Oh my god, we're almost there. So I think what might happen here is it will... Um, they'll just be like, lol, no. <laughs> Which is distressing, but what are you going to do? God, look at that lack of core manpower. So our actual manpower is going to massively increase. I'm probably going to go up to a couple million once we have all the states and I actually get to extensive. So that'll be good. Okay. I'm very interested to see what happens. I imagine they're going to be like, no, lol. And um, I'm going to have an annex CB that hopefully it doesn't expire too soon. Really hate it when randomly CBs expire like that. Doesn't make any sense. Focus 6 CBs like that should last the whole game. I, I can't do stuff, yo. I'm in the middle of war. At least taking Portugal would be something, you know? Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. There you go. Hurry up. Alright, perfect. We have divisions everywhere. Don't write Kareem's memo. Okay. Another batch of maps made obsolete. Yes. Indeed. And they are allied to... Lithuania and Poland are now allied together. Soviet Union is still at war with all these people. Looks like Japan is really holding on for dear life. Okay. See what we can do here. I want to make... Uh, I, all, the, all the naval bases are secured. Just going to be about holding the lines here. And I think we should now try to recruit a few of these divisions. A few of the Riconista Calistas. Because they don't actually need any support, so... Let's try and get a few. It's mainly just infantry equipment, but I just want to make sure that we don't get absolutely wrecked. There's the Restore the Iberian Union. What happens?
Iberian Union Portugal declines. It rejected any notion of uniting the Iberian Peninsula under our shared leadership. Despite extensive negotiations, the Portuguese delegation position effectively said my place, come and get it if you're hard enough. <laughs> The Portuguese delegation position can effectively be summed up as come get it if you're hard enough. Gain annex CB. It doesn't it doesn't expire. Fantastic. Okay. So that sucks. Uh, I mean I think it's very unlikely that I would have that I would have been able to be given that. But that's fine. So what's next? I mean Can't really take too much or do too much at the moment. These just give me annexes. I guess we could get a research slot and then start bigging up our troops. Still desperately trying to build factories is difficult. But we are almost there. 33%. You know, give or take a few percent. So, not long left. Not long left. Of course, it is still slowing down. It's okay. Get that. We are a export focused. Fair enough. Oh, I need so much of that. Jesus. Let's try and get. It would be good if we could have two divisions. <laughs> so, I would need. Okay, so in the very least, I need 15. To be able to do that. But let's at least get to that. And then we just we just want to try and get at least a few more, you know. I want to make sure that my coast is literally always defended. And then maybe I'll start build bigging up these divisions just a little bit. Make them 10 width. You know, get them engineer and stuff. I mean, it might as well considering I've got all this space. i got all this stuff, right? So I, I need 30. So I'll need 19 divisions. There you go. I don't really need too much, to be honest. So that way I will have 19 divisions defending my coast. Two on each port. That's oh, around 30 divisions, actually. Because I'll move the two infantry away. Man, it would have been cool if I could have got that for free. But no way they would ever give that to me. Like, why would they? Okay. Obviously, I'll just take that first thing. Um, shouldn't be too difficult to overpower them and take Portugal for myself. Um, and then... Yeah, we'll think about France. I mean, to be honest, we probably do want to try and declare war on France. You know, when possible. Because we don't want Germany to get it all. If Germany gets it all, I'd just be sad. That would be, that'll be a bit sad, wouldn't it? I mean, how many troops do they have? Oh, I've got, like, no idea. Jesus. And we're almost there. 33.5%. Come on, baby. Come on. 10 more days. So, no. So, almost there. Another couple months. I'm ready. Come here. Man, that would have been so cool if I could have got that. That would have made the batteries so much easier to build. How much is this reducing our consumer goods? 7%. Okay. Ah, oh, man. Six of them. The decolonization. Transfer full sovereignty. I'm losing six Civ factories right now. Cool. India's completely free. Enjoy, India. Have a good time. Man is surprisingly holding out. And they're still in the purge as well. Which is interesting. Germany is looking at chunky as usual. Oh boy. Firepower kills. Uh, it looks like we're not going to be able to utilize that at all. Uh, actually, these are all pretty good. The 34.2. 4.2. Yeah, man. 20 days. And we could start to get some states. Can't do too many. Um, we can do we get two twenty. So we can do we can do five states. So I can get five states back. I get all their manpower. I get their resources. Obviously, we should try and prioritize the ones that are resource tasty. What's going on over here. 
Why am I not getting the steel here? Don't be like that. Ah, oh, it's so close. It's so close. Ah, uh, sabotage resources. Come on. All right, in the next episode, we are finally going to be able to do this. It's going to be amazing, and we're going to take back as many states as possible. Make sure you leave a like in the comment, guys. It helps out the channel so much, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.